afternoon. Thank you so much for having me today and being part of your lunch. It's a beautiful day out, so I won't keep you too long. I'm sure you want to get out and enjoy the weather. Um, my name is Nina Lombardo Milot. I am the communications supervisor for the city of Menor. So that what, what that means is I manage our 911 center. And we also dispatch the fire department, ambulance, and police department. And this is Linda Halderman. She is my right hand. She is the assistant communications supervisor. And you guys all know Brenda, I believe. So we want to just take a little bit of time to tell you about some of the programs that we have available to senior citizens and disabled of all ages within the city. And it could get a little bit confusing. We have information available online, but we thought it would be nice today to come in and talk to you in person and answer any questions that you may have. So the first program that you might be familiar with already is our Mentor Fire Department issued lockbox program. So the lockbox program is available, it's recommended for senior citizens or disabled residents in the city of Mentor, and this is just a city of Mentor program. But what they do is they put a key on your door in a little lockbox, and Brenda's gonna, she'll show you that and demonstrate it. We can even pass it around for you. It goes right on your door, you put a key in there, you can even add a little slip of paper with some emergency contact information in there, and if, God forbid, you should take a fall and have to call 911 and need help, and the fire department comes, they have a key right to get in your house, they're not going to damage your door. Or let's say your smoke detector is going off and there's nobody home and a neighbor calls in that it's beeping and we have to check it out and make sure everything's okay. Well, we certainly don't want to break your door, so we can go ahead and use this box to get right in there. And that's available to all our, it's all our firemen, our emergency medical technicians, and our police department. And it's very secure, and again, it doesn't damage your door at all. It's only accessed by safety forces. Yes. There's no drilling or anything, and it's just powder-coated metal. Yep. It goes on top of the door like a little wreath hanger. And we'll tell you how to obtain all of these at the end of the program, and we'll give you some handout if, if you want to take them. The lockbox, you'll want to get, you'll have to come in. It's the only one that you'll actually have to come into the fire department to get. Right over there, you're by, by here almost every day, or at least once a week or whatnot. But you can come right in, and you'll see Brenda, and she'll help you fill out the forms and give you the lockbox that you can go ahead and install. Like she said, it's really simple. It just goes right over your door. But if you have any difficulty, maybe that's too high and you can't reach it and you need some help, we'll accommodate. We can send someone to help you out and get that on and make sure it's working okay and you have it on the door that you'd like. Okay, so that's our first. That's the first program that we have. It's very simple and very simple to get. So our next thing is the resident information flag. And what that is, is it's available to really any resident in Menor. And we place, it's called a flag, and it's not really a flag. It's in a computer system that our dispatchers use. When the dispatchers enter a call, meaning if you call 911, or even you don't have to call 911, you call that seven digit, 255-1212, and, and the minute we put your address into a system, we have this little flag that comes up. And we'll show you that. But you can put any information you want in there. We could type anything we want. So you could put in who your emergency contact information is. You can put your medical history. You can put um, that you have a dog and the dog's name and the dog is friendly. Or maybe you prefer us to use the side door. Or maybe you don't need a lockbox from the fire department. Maybe you have a code to get in your garage, and it's something you would want us to know if we responded. Um, it's really endless what we could put in there, and if that's not limited to senior citizens or disabled, really anybody could do that. If there's some information that you want us to know if we come to your house, and that, you can come into the fire department to fill it out, you can call the fire department, we can write down the information, Brenda can help you, I can help you, Linda can help you, or you can even go online and fill out the forms right there and email them. And we'll make sure you have the forms today, you know, if you'd like to do that. And to show you what it looks, and there's a, a, a lot of information on there, but that's what the dispatchers 
um, screen looks like. I don't know if there's a, a pointer on here, but the, where that big arrow is, that's what the flag is when we say there's a flag. It comes up and it just says there's, a, there's an alert. So it's telling the dispatcher when they put in your address, hey, there's something that we want, that the resident wants us to know. Police, fire, EMS, we want you to know about this if you come to my house. And when the dispatcher clicks on that, you see right down at the bottom, we have Ralph Cramden. You know, from the honeymooners, I think I spelled it wrong, but old Ralph, he is 86 years old, he has a history of heart, COPD, he uses a walker, he's on oxygen, those are all important things to know. And he drives a red Jeep, so say a neighbor called to check on you and they were worried. Well, if the Jeep's gone, might be a good shot that you actually just came to the senior center for lunch that day. So, you know, good information to know. He's got a small, friendly dog, and here's his garage code, he doesn't have a lockbox. He's gave, given us the code to get in. His medication list is on the refrigerator, and Alice, you know, straight to the moon, Alice there is his contact. So as you see the kind of information that you could put in there, really anything you'd like us to know. The next thing we have is the WellCheck database. Now what that is, is Everything that we just talked about that's in that resident information flag, that's included. You could add, you know, the information about the dog and the garage code and whatnot. But this adds another layer. This is meant for residents or disabled in the city of Menor who have a special need such as they need oxygen. And we have a long-term power outage. I mean, it's going to be a week. We've got trees down everywhere, and you really need that oxygen. We're going to call and we're going to check on you, OK? And this is meant for residents who don't have someone that normally checks on them. You may have oxygen, but you live with your daughter. Or you may have, you know, have special needs, but your neighbor checks on you every day. You're not going to be right for this program. This is more for the people who really don't have anybody that's checking on them on a regular basis and during a large power outage or a big snowstorm or we even made calls periodically during COVID just to see if you're okay, if there's anything you need. Okay, so that well check database is really limited. And, and if you're unsure if you qualify, or maybe it's not for you, maybe it's a family member or it's a neighbor and you think, hey, this would be great for them, call us, we'll walk you through it. We'll let you know what programs you qualify for. So that's a little extra thing. And again, that adds everything that the information, that the resident information flag does. But the extra layer that we'll, we'll check on you. We'll call you if you don't answer your phone, we'll send someone to check on you. to your door, flooding, things like that. Okay, so again, it's for who is eligible is we want to make sure that if you already have five people checking on you, you really don't need the police department knocking on your door too. Now, another program that's available, and this is not through the City of Menor, this is through the Ohio Department of Aging, but it's a great program. It's the, the Staying Connected program is available to anybody over 60 years old who would like a phone call every day to check on them. Now, I know there were some programs in the past that they would do that, but they didn't let you pick what time of day they could call. And you may be busy. You want to come to the senior center for lunch, so you don't want to sit around waiting for that phone call. Well, the great thing about this program is you could pick your time of day. And I believe it's any time between 6 a.m. and 8. 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. Yeah, so that's a pretty good range. So if you'd like to be checked on, you know, at 6 o'clock at night, that's okay. And when you sign up, that's the time you'll get that call every single day. So they will call you. They'll make, I believe it's three attempts to contact you if they can't get a hold of you. You can provide an emergency contact number. Maybe you want it set up as, hey, if you can't get a hold of me, call my son. And they'll call them. If you don't have an emergency contact and you prefer them to just call the police department, call Linda and I. If they don't get a hold of you in three times, they'll give us a call. We're not coming license sirens. We're just going to send someone over, knock on the door, make sure you're okay, see if your car's there, look at that resident information flag if you have it, and make sure everything's okay. So that's every single day. So. You may wonder if you can enroll in more than one program, and you, you certainly can. You can have a fire department issue lockbox, and you could have a residential information flag on there so that we have information if we're coming to your house. And you may want the phone call from the state of Ohio every day that they're going to call and check on you. 
Okay, or you may want on that well check database, which automatically includes the residential flag. And we'll help you through if you call. We'll let you know. But yeah, you can you can just sign up for one. If all you want is a lockbox, that's certainly okay. If all you want is you know the once a day phone call, that's okay too. If you want everything, but wait, there's more. You know, we'll we'll give you everything, and we'll walk you through that when you when you call. Okay, so a uh, cost, there's always a cost, right? The only program there's a cost for is the lockbox, and it's a one-time fee, and it's $35 for the lockbox. And you would purchase that at the fire department. Remember, I said that's the only one that you have to actually physically come in to set up, and that would be a one-time $35 fee. And again, if you need assistance putting it on, we'll be happy to send someone to do that. So I think it's a pretty good bargain for peace of mind and $35. Okay, so as far as enrollment, we talked about for the lockbox, it's the only one that you have to go directly to the fire department and enroll. All the other ones, you can call us and the regular amount of fire department. If you look in the phone book, fire administration, you can call that number and we'll, or dispatch. We don't want you to call 911 for these, but you can call even the 255-1212. Any of those numbers will get you to us and we'll hand out the forms that have all that on it. The one that's a little different is the Ohio Staying Connected program because that's not a city of mentor program. We're going to want you to call. It's the Ohio Department of Aging. And we have a number provided there. And you can also, there's a website you can go to. And if you have difficulty or you need help with that, call us and we can help you sign up for that too. And I did it for myself just to see how it worked before I would recommend the program. I wanted to say, okay, do they really call the same time every day? How hard is this to sign up for? So I signed myself, I called them first and told them I was, you know, I wasn't trying to trick them. I let them know I was testing it. So I signed myself up and let it go for a couple days. And like clockwork, every day I got that phone call and the one day I let it ring and didn't answer and waited a few minutes and I called again. So it really does work, a little peace of mind. The most important thing, though, is I want you guys to know is never, ever hesitate to call 911. That is what we're here for. Well, we hear so often, well, I didn't really think it was an emergency. I, I wasn't, didn't want to bother 911. It's not, a, it's not a bother. We're not going to yell at you. You're not going to get in trouble. If your smoke detector is going off, but you don't see any smoke and you think, oh, is that an emergency? Yes, call 911. You know, that's what we're here for. So even, you know, if you sign up for the well check database and there's a power outage and there's flooding and there's trees down and you think, well, I'm on the well check database, they're going to call and check on me. Don't wait for us. Call 911. Three numbers. You'll get us. We're going to answer right away and get you the help you need. Okay, so never, ever, ever hesitate to ask for help. So that's what we're here for we want you to call. There's nothing more upsetting than finding out somebody didn't call and they waited and they, they called their daughter, called their neighbor, and it caused a delay. You know, let, it, let us help you. If you fall at 2 a.m., don't wait. Call 911. We are there 24-7. We will come out to assist you. We, we hear so often that people wait until morning because they don't want to bother somebody or they don't want to get the fireman out of bed. But please, call. It's never a bother. It's what they do. Mm -hmm. they're, they're happy to do it. And we love getting the firemen out of bed. Yeah. So. <laughs> But really, we are, we are, our 911 center is, we're not just for emergencies, we're for 911, but you, you can call us, at the, the, if you call that main fire number, the 255-1212, you're getting the same place, it's a dispatcher that's answering it. If you call the police department at the 440-255-1234, you're getting a dispatcher or 911, they're all sitting in, in the same room together. And we're always there. We are there in the middle of the night. We're there on Christmas. We're there on weekends. That's what we do. We have a dedicated staff. They give outstanding service, and they're here to help. So please never hes hesitate to reach out to us. So this is, there's, it's impossible to read you know, on this screen, but I have them to hand out to you. So it, it, it tells you about each program, how to sign up for it, and all the differences, this is just a little takeaway, and we have enough for all of you if you want. Okay, and then if you have any questions, there's my information. Again, I'm Nina Lombardo. 
Linda, Brenda, and we thank you so much for letting us come in during your lunch. And we're here to answer any questions. You can ask now or if you'd like to approach us individually or call tomorrow after you've thought about it. And maybe one of these programs or all of them sound like a great idea to you. We'll sign you up. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's a family member or a neighbor. Or maybe next week you think of somebody and think, oh, one of those programs would be really good for them, but I don't remember which one. Call us. Okay, and we'll help you out. Thank you.